All right, we're gonna test out going live. My service kind of sucks down here, but it might be good enough for live, so we'll see. Be interesting if anyone even comes on. But I'm just gonna make some mushroom mugs. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I'd be so shocked if anyone joined. Hey, look, somebody joined. I'm over here making some mushroom mugs. That would be fun to be live. Hey, how's it going? Is it coming across clearly? Because my service kind of sucks. I always wondered if lives would come across well. But I'm spending this Saturday making some mushroom mugs. Check it out so far. It's got vines, some mushrooms. Pretty cool. I feel like I should add some music. Although I might get a copyright infringement. Cool. I'm hoping it stays on glitchy because this would be a fun way to just show art. And I haven't been making videos, so. But Sunday in New Zealand. Damn, it's gotta be early, I would assume. No, it's gotta be late, that was dumb. I don't know actually if that's dumb but I think it's late there. No, it's early. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm really thinking that out. Time zones, man, they make no sense. 8 a.m., okay, early-ish. Let's see here. I think I'm gonna add a couple more vines up here. Maybe some more moss. I need to add some moss. Cross there like that. Going live is the strangest thing because it's like you're talking to yourself, but you're not. It's very odd. I'm not really someone who talks to myself anyways. Just kind of talks to myself in my head. There we go. Thanks. These mushroom mugs, um, I love them so much. They're, they're my favorite thing I've ever made, and I feel like it's like a step above of my old stuff. And uh, I plan on making a lot. I have like probably 12 blank mugs lined up to add mushrooms to right now. And I'm just chipping away. <laughs> I was really scared to go live too. You're the only one watching me, so it's really not that bad. I thought there'd be no one. But um, going live is weird. I want to go live on TikTok because I think that's a good platform, but I don't have enough followers. TikTok's so hard to grow on nowadays, apparently. It used to be easy. Like in 2020. There we go. 
What kind of creations do you make? Or crafting creations? Or is it just all sorts of things? Man, that's terrible. I also was making a YouTube video. Look at this. I got lazy on it and um, decided I'd go live instead. <laughs> instead of making a YouTube video, I really need to make a YouTube video. I haven't made one in so long, but we'll get there. Okay. China Painter Kiln. I don't know what a China Painter Kiln is, but I imagine it's just low fire. But that's pretty cool. I'll have to check out your page. Uh, the only thing I do in YouTube videos editing. So much work. I know, YouTube's so much work. It's so... Once you get the base audience, it's so worth it, like, getting paid and such. But... It's a pain. <laughs> it's a pain to start. I had a TikTok account in like 2020 and I grew it up to, I don't know, maybe like 20K followers. And it was so much easier. And then I started this art, this pottery one, and it's just been so hard to grow on TikTok. And like you said, I get views, sort of get views. I'm usually in the 200 jail, but I sort of get views on TikTok, but not really a conversion of following. I think YouTube actually is the easiest way to grow uh instagram's been okay but it's hit or miss on who they show your stuff to it sucks low fire i've messed around a little bit with low fire stuff um that's pretty cool i really want to do raku but I don't have a kiln set up for that yet. This vine. Ugh. <clears throat> the dumb algorithms. They're the worst. They mess with your brain a bit because it thinks you might think your art sucks and it's actually good, but the algorithm just, algorithm just doesn't pick it up. It really, it sucks having to grow your art like that. I kind of hate it, but um, that's the way it is, apparently. What do we think? A vine? Vine, maybe? Washrooms? It looks so weird during this stage. It's hard to picture, like, how everything will turn out. I don't like that vine. Maybe like that and add some mushrooms right there. Do you have a hard time, do you sell your work and do you have a harder time selling non or ceramics that you can't eat off of? There's a better word for that, but. Oh, you got a manual kiln too. I have one of those as well. Currently my manual kiln's out of commission and it's so annoying. I, 
one element didn't work. So I replaced that element and I turned it on and then all the elements, all three of the other ones didn't work. And I was like, damn. So I got those elements, new elements. They need to be changed anyways. Changed all the elements, went to fire or went to turn on and now only half of them turn on. And I think I need new switches. So I ordered switches <laughs> and they came in a couple days ago and I'm intimidated to um, install them. So maybe that's a tomorrow project, but I did not feel like doing it today. I thought it might have been relays, but I think it's switches. I don't know. But the every hour thing and you have to babysit it is such a pain. I have a small um, electric, not electric, but like the computerized one. That one's great. I just turn on and leave it. Don't have to babysit or anything. One day I'm going to have a big one like that, but right now we got to do with what we got. It's a bummer for my kiln is in my studio. And uh, so I can't work the days I fire because I just n don't want to breathe in any gases. So it's like a whole day out of not being able to work on pottery when I fire. It's such a bummer. The maintenance is so scary. The craft fairs are so scary too. So I did my first craft fair and farmer's markets this past year and I hated it. I hated it so much and I thought I'd get used to it and I haven't. And I'm just fully trying to make it an online business because <laughs> I don't want to talk to people like that. And people will be like, explain your art. I don't know how to explain my art. I just make art it's not words it's just you know i feel you on that i think it's so hard for us artists because we're like introverts this stuff isn't isn't how we operate i don't know where i want this piece of moss to go maybe down here i uh, will save it for a bit i'm gonna add some more The big pile. So I guess in order to get rid of your big pile of things, you gotta leverage the internet, which is a whole nother ordeal as well. But I have a bunch of tubs I need to sell too. The problem is, is I don't like them anymore. I don't think they're worthy of selling, which is ridiculous, but it's like once you get better and you look at your old work, you're like, man, this isn't even good anymore. Even making content, like filming, I don't even want to do that. I just want to create and sell, but you have to like film it and stuff in order to catch the algorithm. I wish I could just take beautiful pictures and people would love it, but that's just not how it works. And the birds are so loud today. They do sound pretty. I love this studio because it's outside, but it also sucks because it's outside. <laughs> it's like the winter's brutal, but I love it. Like we're in sort of in spring now. And it's just so pretty to hear all the nature and stuff. I use, what kind of clay do I use? I use, um, what is it called? Um, high water, I think it's high water little loafers. So it's like, 
mid fire clay. I fired a cone six. And then I tried, where is that? I tried to use like speckled brownstone recently, but it got bubbles on it. Like when I fired all the way, there's a bunch of, I wish I knew where that mug went. Um, there's just like a bunch of bubbles on it. It didn't fire right. I don't know if I, I think you have to fire it slowly. And since I have a manual kiln, you know how hard it, it, it can be to like manage that temperature. I think I fired it too quickly and all the gases couldn't get out of it. And that is where the, the bubbles were from them being trapped in there from the magnesium, I believe. At least that's what the internet tells me. And I've, I wanted to give it a try on my other smaller kiln that's um, computerized, but I just haven't gotten to that yet. But this, the brownstones, I think, are so pretty. That's why I use iron wash a lot, because even though this is a white clay, I really love the brown look, but... I don't know, I've been using white clay for so long, I, like, haven't really switched over. Because I love the way the glazes look against the white clay. They, I feel like they pop more. Yeah, this is a, uh, it's a mushroom mug. Didn't realize I'm getting out of focus, but I got vines on it. This is going to be moss, more mushrooms, and then this background is going to look like a tree. They come out really cool. And welcome to my first live. <laughs> I've never done a live before. See if we can make this. You have a kiln shed. I just missed that message, but that's awesome. That's goals. I can't have a kiln shed where I currently live, but that is future plans <laughs> you have a mug a mushroom mug from seventh grade the seventh grade like when you're little and you make pottery those ones are so funny it's just like pure kids just trying to make some art I bet it's wonky but that's cool that you still have it Yeah, I recommend iron wash. Iron wash you can use, I'm pretty sure, on low fire too. Low fire pottery. I don't see why you couldn't. It's so easy because you just mix iron wash and water together. And I don't recall it being very expensive. And the cool part about using iron wash and like showing the bare, I love bare clay and like showing that part of pottery. And you use less glaze. So it's like ends up being cheaper, which is kind of cool as well. And it looks cool. All right, so we got mu mushrooms here, vines. I'm gonna add the detail to these, whoops, to the moss, which is kind of fun. You just kind of go in circles. It creates a moss effect. Look at that. Kind of cool. Silly mugs are the best, I must say.
I'm trying to make my mugs be like a mixture of mugs that you can use, but also they're like art. Cause I never had, I never really was into handmade mugs and stuff until pretty recently when I got into pottery and they're just so much cooler and better. And it's like you're drinking coffee or tea out of art, which is just makes the experience a little cooler. So we got some moss there. Moss here. You guys have made this live so enjoyable, so thank you. I was nervous to do this. I'm very glad I did. Oh, you made a wooden mug. I bet that was really cool looking. I'm sorry you left it. That's such a bummer. I love the look of wood. I think iron wash gives an, a wood look. So then I can like give the effect of wood with ceramics. Cause I actually don't like working with wood. It's very, it's very like strict. Strict isn't the right word, but ceramics, you can kind of bend it however you want. Wood, it's a lot more effort to do all that. Aw, oh, thanks. I'm glad you think mine is art, too. That's what I'm going for. And yeah, the moss looks so cool, especially after fired. I don't know if you saw some of my recent mushrooms mugs, but I add green to this. I've also done bare nothing, and it looks so good once it's fired. I think I'm going to keep this one the way it is. You guys want to see the final product? Not the final product, the final product for today. And then all this is going to be looking like tree bark but we'll add that once it dries more. And on to another mug. Enjoy your ice cream. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I like the I don't know if other people do this, but I wipe off all my throwing lines. Such a nice clean surface. I guess if you're glazing the whole thing, it doesn't really matter. It really doesn't matter at all then. But it affects what I do with my mugs. There we go. So I have a lazy version of a damp box. Actually, I can show you right now. So I just use a plastic box and then I put, it's a little, um, I put mugs on it and I just put plastic over it and put the top over it. <laughs> and that's my damp box. I know some people put <clears throat> um, whatever that white stuff's called underneath. I can't think today. Uh, they put that there. If I want to add moisture to it, I'll just get a wet rag and put it on top of everything. And that's what I've been doing. And it's been working, so I don't know. I haven't gone with the full, full effort of a damp box. How about you? There's no way I can't go without storing my pottery in a box, though. It would all It's so unpredictable because wind's coming through here and stuff. I have to keep it all protected or it would dry so fast. All right, let's see here. What do we wanna do on this one? I think we're gonna go with a little bit different of a mushroom. I'm running out of clay too, which is, I really need to get on my uh, reclaim clay game. I've been a bit lazy on that. I, I hate reclaiming clay and I wait till the last minute, which is now or I'm almost out of clay. <laughs> like I don't even have enough clay to throw anything at the moment. I gotta really get on it. 
I have some out right now drying. Uh, it just takes some time. Plaster in the bottom, that's what it's called. Yeah, I find these little plastic boxes great. Um, someone was sell like selling a ton of them, like 10 of them for $20 on Facebook Marketplace. So I got a bunch of them really cheap. But wrapping them in plastic works too. Yeah, Reclaim is, um, it's an endeavor. <laughs> it's just a whole, it's not as bad once you get a system down, but it took me a while to figure out how I wanted to do it, and I still am not great at it. But once you get a system down for it, and you stick to the system of it, it's not too bad. It's just slow. Mushroom looks so wonky. Do you just keep buying new clay or have you just not worked through your clay yet to not need to do reclaim? <clears throat> I want a smaller one. I just keep buying. <laughs> That's funny. If getting clay didn't take a four hour drive for me, I might be in the similar boat. But since it's an endeavor, it, I have to reclaim. It like doesn't make sense with shipping to ship it. All right, these mushrooms are kind of weird to make. I feel like I haven't really mastered how they look. Oh, an art shop. Yeah, I feel like art shops can be hit or miss when it comes to pottery. <laughs> But you ordered it in December and it still hasn't come. That's so frustrating. That's crazy. Do you have to order clay out of country or can you get them in New Zealand? I assume you can. It's not like New Zealand's like 
But I don't know if they have good clay shops there or not. Also, New Zealand. How is that? I hear great things about it. Do you, I, it looks so pretty to live there. Hey, thanks for loving this. <laughs> We're just over here making some mushroom mugs, chatting about clay and New Zealand. Yeah, it looks really pretty. I'm a big nature lover, as you can probably tell from my art, so I feel like I would just love it. America's hit or miss, I'm pretty. Where I live right now is really pretty. I live like on an island, but I've lived in some, like near DC, and uh, it's like not pretty there. It's just capitalism everywhere. Just stores and sh and highways, and uh, that was a mosquito, and just too many people. Not really what I'm looking for. What if that would get in the way? That one's gonna get in the way. Oregon. Oregon's, it looks so pretty. I have not been, the furthest west I've been is like Montana and all those states in that vertical line, but Oregon looks gorgeous. The rain worries me. I don't think I could live there because of how cloudy it is. You live by the harbor. I bet the harbor is beautiful. But Oregon, I definitely want to go there and mountain bike because I know you guys have some awesome trails. And there's not awesome trails. There actually is a mountain biking park here that I go frequent, but um, it's lame compared to like Oregon or anywhere near mountains. Bet you you have some excellent mushrooms in Oregon, too. Maybe New Zealand, too. I don't know. But with all that moisture and stuff, the mushrooms have to be pretty good. It's rainy, but you, you like the rain. Then that's perfect if you like the rain. You're in the right area. It makes me depressed. <laughs> it's so annoying, too. I'm like, come on. Just these clouds is bringing down my mental health. But it does. I love the sun. But I bet the trails are so... Yeah, the sick trails. Yep. I've seen YouTube videos on them. They look so sweet. I love the rain, too. Nothing better than listen to the rain. I think we have lots of mushrooms. Yeah, today um, when I woke up, it was pouring down rain. And so I drank my tea to the rain and it was really peaceful and pretty, especially since it's warm enough where you can like sit out on the porch and listen to it. I do enjoy that. <laughs> hey, Big Rift. This is the person who uh, gave me the advice to go live. And I didn't think my service was good enough, but here we are. Also mushrooms growing in your garage. What a mess. <laughs> That's funny though.
<laughs> Too bad they weren't like edible mushrooms that have to be growing. That would've been pretty cool. Or magic mushrooms. I've grown those once. That was an interesting experience. No magic mushrooms you keep in the, the veteran closet for any day. Yep, mine are in the drawer right now. I had a really bad trip recently, so I'm on a. It's very unappealing to do them. Although the trip was necessary, <laughs> it was brutal to go through. It wasn't fun. But I learned a lot, so I guess that's good. It is good, actually. It helped me with depression and such. Man, your daughter ate poisonous ones. Oh no, and drink charcoal. God, that sounds terrible. How long have I been making mugs? It's been like two years. It hasn't been very long. I took a pottery class. Has been two years, like two and a half years. I took a pottery class like two and a half years ago. And I was a I was a painter, but I got burnt out on that, and I was just need some creative outlet. And um, I was trying to make painting like a career, but anyways, that didn't happen. So I stopped making art for a bit. Then I took a pottery class, and I fell in love with it. And like was a member of the studio and stuff and then they were hardly firing their kiln so i just decided i had like this big i live with my grandma and there's this big empty space under her house so then i decided just to make a studio down here and it's perfect you can be like as dirty as you want with all the clay and stuff and it doesn't matter so so yeah it's been about two and a half years and i but i went like full in when i decided i was gonna do this i like tried to get as good as i could and i feel like my work is pretty decent now i feel like it's catching up to what i see in my head i can now really create in reality which is nice once those skills like match up it's a really good feeling but it's very frustrating for a while when you like see it in your head and it's not coming out into reality it's it's a very frustrating time but it's been fun to learn. Do I have heating down there in the winter? Nope, there's no heating down here. So I live in South Carolina. So the coldest it gets... No, I can get cold. It's mostly like 50s in the winter. So I can dress up in like a sweatshirt and sweatpants. And... <clears throat> and suffer through it. But I actually got burnt out, and I kind of took a big break um, from pottery this winter. I'm just kind of getting back into it. I was, may, I might post a video about that, about burnout and such, um, and kind of what I learned about it. But the winter's brutal. Last winter, I did a lot of pottery down here with no heater. I just <laughs> sucked it up. And, like, throwing with um, wet hands in 50 degrees isn't fun at all. It's quite a struggle. I wish I had the space for everything. Just no plug. Oh, man. I didn't have a plug down here. I had an electrician come in, and it actually cost a decent bit. Um, the plug is such a bummer. It just really holds everything up. I wish pottery was easier for people to do. And I even looked up, like, kiln chairs. There's none really near me. So... I just decided to go for it and pay for it, but, and it's been worth it, but it's annoying. The kilns are annoying. Yep, I have two kilns, actually. I have a little kiln 
And then I have a bigger kiln that I actually got free off of Facebook Marketplace. This guy wanted posted a free kiln and said that he wanted to go to a local potter. And then um, I like sent him a message about me starting pottery and uh, he chose me. And so I got like, it's an old kiln, but it's in really great shape. Other than the little things I have to fix on it right now, it's still in good shape. Um, so yeah, that was really cool. Oh yeah, the cup on the edge. I'm trying to make it so you guys can see it also. Um, so I can't work all the way to the bottom when it's close like that. So it's on the edge. <laughs> it could fall. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I don't think it will. I really want to add leaves to these vines, but I feel like the only way to do that is individual leaves. And that's a pain. <laughs> so we're just going with like stick looking vines at the moment, but I really would love to add leaves. And they all have to draw dry properly. It seems like it's a bit more of an endeavor than I want to put in. Yeah, there's zero around me. I was gonna offer it once I get it set up. Yeah, I've been thinking about offering or putting my kiln up on like kiln chair for other potters. I haven't done it yet. Um, the only thing that makes me nervous is like people not glazing their stuff well and the glaze melting onto my kiln and then possibly costing more money to fix it and such. I see like those pottery fails on Facebook and it scares me. But there's so many people who want to do it. I'm still kicking around the idea, but I haven't fully gone in yet and offered it on kiln chair. Hey, Kentley. Hey, you got your ice cream in your back. Yeah, the smaller kilns, you might want to look into that, uh, Big Rift. The smaller kilns you can plug into a 120 outlet. My outlet is a little weird. It's like the two dots and then one sideways or like the three dots. You know what I mean? But unless you just want to go for a big one, then I don't blame you on that, but... The smaller ones are a nice, nice way to start. Community studio should be a... Yeah, the community studios are great. I wish the one near me was just run better. And then I think about opening my own, but I don't think that's something I want to do at this moment in my life. Also trying to make it so you guys can see this. So it's gonna, it's gonna let's see if we go like that makes way more sense. There we go. I'm like working my way off the table. Ah, uh, landlord. Yeah, I get that. And I get why landlords wouldn't want you to have a kiln, but that's such a bummer.
I'm not really into snakes, but I feel like a snake along this type of mug, like the mushroom mug, would look pretty cool. I've been thinking about doing a snake mug. You don't have snakes? That's amazing. I think Hawaii's like that too. They don't really have snakes. We have snakes for sure. There was one um, right outside my... Oh no, we're, we got low battery, guys. 20%. We'll just go till it dies. Um, yeah, there was a big snake. There's actually a couple snakes I saw last summer. There was a big one right outside the door. It scared the crap out of me. But yeah, we definitely have snakes. We have copperhead snakes too, which are deadly. That's so cool, there's no snakes on New Zealand. I didn't know that. to do with this space now. <laughs> Apart from other humans. <laughs> Wow, that's so interesting. No creatures that can kill you on New Zealand. That's crazy. We have alligators here too. Those guys can really kill you. <laughs> and right now is their mating season, so they're just a little crazy. So that's a little frightening. Hiking is safe here. That's so cool. I'm gonna have to check out New Zealand. I definitely wanna visit more of other countries. I'm like an American who hasn't traveled enough. I've been to the Netherlands and like Mexico. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, alligators. They look like little, not little. They look like big dinosaurs. Because they basically are dinosaurs, but yeah. <clears throat> and there's um, a golf course near me. Uh, and when I drive by it, there's just alligators sitting on the edge of the golf course by the water. And golfers just play right next to them. It's crazy. I'm gonna have to get a phone charger down here when I do this again. Maybe I'll bring like my extra battery down. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> people just don't even seem to care about them either. Some people do. But I don't know if I'd golf near one. I don't golf, but. If I did. Actually, a couple years ago, there was an alligator 
like at the end of my street sitting in the grass and uh it's like there's a pond there and uh he had he was sitting there with his jaw open and a turtle in his mouth and i i think the turtle was dead and he just slowly ate it it was really gnarly it was like some national geographic stuff right there on your street so that's what the southeast of america is like <laughs> All right, see you, Big Riff. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. I know it's so sad to watch the turtle. <clears throat> it breaks my heart. I don't like all that. Make sure you hit that like button, chat. That's right. <laughs> I think most of them have hit the like button. But I appreciate you spreading the word on it. I'm trying to grow the channel. I'm trying to get back into YouTube, really. YouTube's my favorite social media platform. I feel like it's the best way to cultivate like a community and stuff. And just watching, I just love longer form content compared to like Instagram and stuff. But I very much enjoy this live. I usually work I guess I work on the weekends too, but I usually work in the afternoon. I just recently got a part-time job, but I wonder how many people would be if I'd get anyone on in the afternoons, like on a work day. I thought there's a ton of people in here to begin with. <laughs> but even so, it might be good just to put on, just to, people can pop in and out. It's so much better. I wish, I kind of wish YouTube didn't get shorts on it either. It's such a better platform. But they're trying to copy. I don't know why they all need to copy each other. Just be your own thing. The reason why I love you, YouTube so much is for long form content. We don't need shorts. Although I still post shorts and I sometimes watch them like, there's other apps for that like TikTok. Lenny, if you have a Instagram, you should follow me because I'd love to follow you back and see some of your art too. Yeah, that's how I feel about shorts too. You almost have to make them in order to grow your audience. Per the algorithm. <laughs> My Instagram handle is loco ceramics, and there's just like an underscore in between the two words. But it should just pop up if you type loco ceramics. <laughs> Maybe I'll go live tomorrow, actually. Maybe I'll put a little notification up there. Sweet. I will check 
And I'll follow your page once I'm off of this. We're at 15% battery life on my phone, so. Bell hit. Thanks, Big Rift. You know, it's interesting now when I go on hikes and stuff, I look at moss and mushrooms and like trees so much more for inspiration on my mugs. I think actually it would be really cool is to add like clay shaped crystals and then um, glaze them like a cool colorful glaze to make like a crystal looking thing. So I was on a hike in Virginia kind of recently and they had quartz crystals and they had like moss on them and stuff. It looked so cool. I was like, this would be really cool to add to my mushrooms. I was thinking about doing it off of the handle and like a crystal here and a crystal there, maybe over, maybe over here. Crystals would be so cool. I'm glad you liked the idea too. I haven't played with figuring that out. There is one potter. I think she makes pipes with crystals on it. Um, so, and hers look really cool too. I think that'd be a great addition. And since glazes are so cool, like those Mako glazes with all the different colors and stuff in it, they'd be really cool for crystal glazes to use on crystals. Makeup jungle gem glaze. I, like. I think I've seen Mako jungle gems. I think I know what you're talking about, but I'll look at that. They have like all the colors in it. I think that would look cool. Yeah. I will check that out. That'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's the stuff with the colors. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. <clears throat> it's so fun when you have like, um, like a theme idea and then it kind of builds and grows the more you make them. The crystals would be very cool. I saw another potter. She, I think she, she makes pipes and then she like glues a crystal onto them. I don't think I'm going to do that because if I feel like it's not going to, I don't know. I just get nervous that it's not going to stay very long, but it's still a really cool idea and they look really good. I feel like in a mug, it's a little more challenging than a pipe. If it's quartz, you might get away with glazing in it. Yeah. It'd be really cool if you could f <laughs> if you could fire it with crystals, but I think they would just melt. I don't think their temperatures can go that high. Yeah, worried they'd come off. Yeah. 
I don't want to act the handle complaints and stuff about that. I want my stuff to be durable. I don't think Big Riffs has a channel. I think I've clicked on his YouTube. I could be wrong. So now we're adding moss to it all. I love the look of moss. I'm so glad I was able to come up with the moss effect. I really want to come up with a better effect for tree bark. Because right now I feel like my bark just looks like wood. Which looks good, but... I really want it to look like tree bark. Our high minds. I like that name, our high minds. I don't really know what Kick is either. I think Kick is like a messaging platform. But I'm not totally sure. Oop. It's like Twitch. Uh, I'm not. I have not gotten into Twitch too much. I know a lot of people use it. It's 420 friendly, that's cool. Guys, I'm gonna make a bong that's gonna be themed, mushroom themed like this, and I think it's gonna look so good. I've had it in my mind to make for a while, and I have not done it, but I wanna make a video on it, so sometime shortly I will. Once I get my clay together, because I don't have enough clay right now to even throw a bomb. Yeah, I think it'll look really good. I made my first bong. It was kind of mushroom themed, but it was way worse, obviously, because it's my first one. So I'm like remaking my first one. 
I think it'll be really cool to see just the progress that I've made. And then I think, and then it'll just look, I think it'll look really, really good. kind of gotten out of making smoking stuff which is a bummer turns out it's kind of easier to sell mugs but I still really like making like pipes and bongs bongs more so than pipes I'd say that's like what I started this channel on I was just recently got a part-time job. I was so worried that they might find my art, which is partially why like my art isn't under my name. And they, I guess they didn't, but I was a little worried that they might see <laughs> I have videos on like how to make a bong, how to make pipes. A new coral bong would be cool. The coral bong is actually right here. This was like one of my first crazy bong ideas. Um, so this is how you breathe in into this big one. And the bowl's right here and this is a carb bowl. So you just smoke like that. It's so beautiful. I wish I added color, but I like wasn't good enough at glazing. I still don't know if I am to make it look beautiful but it's so it's so cool very proud of this guy I don't smoke him enough <laughs> oh yeah I had to smash one I my first one I made I smashed and then I remade another one and that was the other one <laughs> that, that, that smashing video did really well, too. Because why wouldn't it? You get to watch someone smash some cool art. I've got a pipe shaped like a crow skull. That's kind of gnarly. Piped like a, a crow skull. I don't even know what a crow skull looks like. What's it made out of, a crow skull? Is it ceramics? Yeah, I wanted to do a series, which I did not keep up with, of like art bongs that look like art, like other things basically that are art basically and I should do more of that that was such a fun thing to do I think I kind of lost ideas but Oh, it's a c ceramic one. That's so cool. Also from the Ukraine. That's pretty cool as well. Part of my family is from the Ukraine. That's awesome. That's a good gift. The one stroke a day, so <laughs> it was a good laugh, wasn't it? It died on day four. I think I'm gonna bring it back, but I'm not gonna do a mushroom watering bowl. I think I'm just gonna do a bowl, like not even like a smoking bowl, like just a bowl. And um, cause I felt like no one knew what a mushroom watering bowl was, but I was trying to mix my sense of adventure with pottery. <laughs> and I think I might do 
it was so basically I was making one stroke or one spot of glaze on a mushroom watering bell in a different location every day because no one does pottery out and about and I thought it'd be funny to do glazing out and about in random places but I just threw a bowl the other day so I might bring it back Oh yeah, maybe if I have a couple, in case one breaks. <laughs> that was funny. If you go to my YouTube shorts, if you haven't seen those videos, you'll see what we're talking about. Plus, it was like a good way to get a video out every day. crackle glaze on the mushrooms that would be cool i don't have any at the moment but i do love the looks of crackle glaze that'd be really cool we're at six percent guys <laughs> so my phone will be dying soon I'll make sure to bring a charger down next time. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. But you guys made this live pretty fun. I appreciate that. It's so funny making these mugs because I want them to look like nature. And then I overthink. I'm like, does this look natural enough? <laughs> Even though nature is kind of like random natural looking and I'm questioning whether it looks natural enough. Making a, a kiln, that would be cool. Building a kiln, you should. I know you can do it. That's like over my level of wanting to do something, but it's definitely possible. I've seen people make like electric kilns and then they make like, and then like wood kilns. Those are really cool. Although that's like an endeavor for a kiln. Appreciate you joining us, Lainey. It was nice talking to you. Enjoy your Sunday in New Zealand. <clears throat> Press bark into it to make texture. That's a good idea. I'm going to try that out. My, so my problem sort of is when I put all this stuff on it, like a mess. So if I put the bark texture on first and then I add this stuff to it, like I'll end up smearing it and it won't look as good. So I kind of have to put the bark texture on after. I bet I, I probably could on the bigger spots and then somehow make it look the same on the smaller spots. What are we at? 5%. Adding moss is 
texture is definitely one of my favorite things to do. I already said that, but I enjoy it a lot. Alright, we got some moss there. A little bit of moss down here. Make it so you guys can see it some. I don't know, but he's pretty loud if he's a, that bird. <laughs> he's talking, all, he's chirping away. I don't know birds that well by their, by their sounds. It could be a meadowlark. I live in South Carolina, if that's helpful at all. We have a bird feeder like right back here outside of my studio, so we get a lot of birds. Almost done with this moss. Yeah, I can show the texture a bit closer. I wish, I feel like it's a little fuzzy. It looks fuzzy on my end. Let's see. So basically, I just put like a piece of clay down and then I swirl it. And just go around and swirl randomly. And that kind of just creates that texture. It doesn't even have to be perfect because when you glaze over it, some of it, it hides some of the imperfections. And it all looks like moss in the end. It's really cool. I'll pat it down a little bit to make sure it's all sticking there. And then that is the final product of this one. I add a little bit more crazy vines. And that's that. Got two mushrooms down today. Not bad. I'm gonna work on one more. Ooh, I did see the garlic press one. It looked difficult to do. That's why I didn't do it. So I, was, I thought I could find a quicker way and I did. All right, guys, I'm going to get off because my phone is at 3% and it's going to die. But thank you for coming and joining me. This was fun. I'll probably do this more because I feel like it made time go by nicely as I worked. But I will see you guys later. All about birds by Cronella. Ooh, I might have to check out that book. Appreciate it. <laughs> see you guys. Peace.